Hi everyone, I'm back with another quick review of my scent of the day. So since it has gotten a little bit cooler today, I decided to put on Iris Poudre, which is one of my favorite iris fragrances. The perfumer for this is Pierre Bourdon, and uh, he has recently gained some attention because of Gabe Oppenheimer's book. I have not read it yet, but I know it focuses a lot on him as being this ghost perfumer. Uh, but he has been a really well-respected perfumer for many decades and Iris Poudre is probably my favorite from Pierre Bourdon. I do want to point out my travel spray here and I like the magnetic cap and the atomizer is one of the best in terms of uh, what you can find in a travel spray. I really wish that more brands would focus on the quality of their atomizers for their smaller uh, packaged bottles like this. So it's a really luxurious package and I enjoy this. Out of all the perfumes from this house, Iris Puto is probably my favorite. It made a lasting impression on me when I first tested it out. When I had my sample of this, I drained it really quickly because I wore it from one night to the next. Uh, I really liked wearing it to bed but I also enjoyed wearing it to work and out. Uh, I think it's you know one of the most memorable fragrances I've tried and it is one of my favorite iris perfumes of all time. So the name Iris Poudre and the copy from the official brand I think are quite fitting for this fragrance. So you know this is a powdery iris and then also on the website if you look on the page for this fragrance it says something along the lines of passion under ice and i think that is quite fitting because there is something about this fragrance that evokes this romanticism and this restraint but underneath the surface there is something that is quite sensual um, as if there's something that wants to break free I'll talk a bit about what it smells like to me. So iris is the main note that I get from this. That is the main floral. Although I do get some ionones, perhaps from violets or maybe a little bit of rosiness from this that adds this sweetness. I think a lot of times iris can come off as quite cold and you know very aloof. I think about fragrances like number 19 from Chanel. And while there is that coldness from this fragrance, I think the sweetness from the ionones that I detect from this really adds a, a warmer dimension to it. Uh, there is also a bit of this cozy vanilla that comes out when it dries down. I also get a bit of, actually a lot of aldehydes. Um, I would say second to the iris, the aldehydes are very prominent. And that kind of adds to some of the coldness that I get from this. And another note that I think is quite prominent in this is aldehydes. So to me, if iris is the primary note that I detect, the aldehydes definitely are second to that. Uh, and the aldehydes, I think, really add this really classic trait to this. Uh, it adds a little bit of the coldness as well um, but it does give this impression of being quite powdery too the overall impression that i get from this if i were to give you some imagery about this perfume is that i imagine really iridescent snow as if the snow had been made from powderized pearls you could see sheens of this light purple and maybe some pink in there uh, there there is that pearlescence to the powderiness that I get from this. And as I'd mentioned, it gives this overall impression of this restrained sexuality. I picture, you know, someone wearing this form-fitting, almost like a bodycon type of sweater dress where, you know, the entire body is pre-covered, but you could still see the curves of the body. And perhaps that person is wearing really sensual lingerie underneath or maybe they're not wearing anything at all. So it's almost as if someone wants to break free of the restraints that are placed on them 
and you know they want to explore more of that sexuality i think i get more of that sensuality from the vanillic dry down there is something about it that i find very attractive i do think this is one of my more versatile fragrances uh thanks to chanel i do associate aldehydes with the workplace but also with you know all seasons so i i do like to wear this year round although i reserve this for more cooler days uh, if I spray more than two sprays, even from this tiny uh, travel spray, it can get a little bit overwhelming in the heat. But in the winter time, this is very cozy. I love to wear this with sweaters especially. I think it's a really good date night type of scent too, as long as the person that you're with doesn't mind aldehydes and um, powdery type of scents. I think performance is excellent. I don't have any complaints there. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily like a huge projector, but it does last a long, long time on my skin, pretty much the whole day. And I barely need to, or I actually don't think I've ever had to reapply this. So anyways, those are my quick thoughts on Igus Poudre. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance and uh, let me know if you haven't, what is your favorite iris fragrance? So I'll see you next time. Bye.